In this video, I'll show you how you can integrate Google Maps into your WordPress site. We will explore various customization options and demonstrate on how you can add multiple location pins on your Google Maps. So without any further ado, let's get started. From the WordPress dashboard, let's quickly move to the plugin section and let me show you what plugins I have. As clearly visible, I have two plugins here that are Elementor, the Plus add-ons as well as its Pro version. Next move to the Plus settings, then go ahead and click on Plus widgets. Here we'll be turning on two widgets that we will be using in this project. Go to the search panel and search for heading. Here it is, turn it on, then click on save. Next, search for Google Maps. Turn it on. Now as you can see, it's written Pro here. Make sure you have installed and upgraded the Plus add-ons to the Pro version to make use of this widget. Once it's done, click on Save. Now in order to access the real-time location data, we have to generate a Google Maps API key. For that, click here on Extra Options, then scroll down. Here you will see under Google Maps API key, it's written you can obtain your own Google Maps key here. Simply click on the text. Then you will be redirected to Google Maps platform. Here scroll down a bit and click on setup in cloud console. Now on this screen, click on create new project. Here simply give your project's name. I'll type location. Then click on create. After that, the dashboard will open up. Simply come here and scroll down the side panel, then click on Google Maps platform, then click on finish account setup button. Now they will ask you for payment details. After filling all the necessary information, you will be able to create an API key. I have already created it with me, so I'll just simply come back here and copy paste the key from my notepad. Once it's done, click on save. Now without wasting a single minute, quickly go to the side panel and click pages. Here we have already created a page namely Google Maps for this tutorial. I'll just go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. And now we are here in the Elementor editor. You can notice that we have already integrated the Google Map widget in the design. Now let me just open the side panel and then the navigator to show you the chronology of the widgets used. Here you can notice in the container the Google Map widget is placed below the heading title. If you want to integrate it just like this, simply open up the widgets panel, then search Google Map. And here you will find two maps widget. One is offered by Elementor and this one is of the Plus Add-ons Pro. You can simply drag and drop this inside the canvas from here. For now, we'll simply go and select this Google Map widget. Then we will see these many customization options here like Map Type, Content and Map Style. I'll walk you through them one by one. Let's check the first option that is Map Type. Open it. As you can see, it's written Map Type here. Let's open its drop down menu. Here we have two options that is OSM and Google Map. So if you'll select OSM and let's close this navigator for you to have a closer look, you can see the type of map interface we have here. Most of the people prefer Google Maps only, so we'll go ahead and click on Google Map. After that, let's just close this option. Now let's move ahead and click on content. As you can see here, it's written add multiple location point. So that will bring us to the main topic of today that is adding multiple location pins in Google Maps. Now let me tell you that this is extremely simple with this widget. Simply come here and click on this item box. From here, you can manage map locations by putting in the latitude and longitude values. Now I know most of the people wouldn't care memorizing these values. So in order to help you guys, we have added a link below here. Simply click on this text called check link. After you will click it, you will simply be redirected to a website namely latlong.net. Here you can simply type that place's name. Say for example, I'll type Turtleback Zoo. That's in New Jersey. 
Next, click Find. So as you can see, I've got its latitude and longitude values. Now simply copy this value from here, then go to our page. Now paste it inside this box. In the same way, copy the longitude value as well and paste it inside the longitude values text box. So simple, right? As you can notice here, the red location pin has marked our desired location in the map. In the same way, you can add the second location as well. Simply click on add item. Right now, it's written New York City here. Don't bother about it. We'll give it our own latitude and longitude values. Simply click on check link. Now we will feed in another location. I will type Atlantic City Aquarium, which is in New Jersey only. Now click on find and here are the latitude and longitude value of that as well. Now you have to do the same procedure as earlier that is copy paste the value from the website to our input fields. Now when we will zoom out the map, you can see that we have successfully added two location pins on the map. Now if you want to change the names of these items, for now, it's written New York City here and here it's item 1. So we'll simply click on the box, go down here in the text box and write its names. That's Turtleback Zoo. We'll also do the same with the second location pin we have here and change it to Atlantic City Aquarium. You can see how the text here are now changed. Now, if you will scroll down a bit more, you will find other customization options as well. Like from here, you can add a custom pin icon of your choice. Simply click it, then select files. I have an icon over here, so selecting it and click on open. So after your icon gets uploaded, quickly go and click select. So that's how we have inserted our custom icon over here. If you want, you can also control its size from here. Like if I go and select thumbnail. And that was it with the content option. Let's close it. Now let's open map style. On opening it, the very first option you will get to see is map zoom. Now what it does that it simply controls the default zoom level that you want to show each time your web page gets open. Currently it's on 12. If I drag it towards the right side, you can see the zoom level inside the map is now increased. And let's drag it towards the left side now. You can notice now the map is zoomed out. Same you will get many map options. From here you can control the kind of interactions your user does with the map. If you want to add an interaction, simply click this plus icon. Right now market clustering is not inside of it, so I'll select it. And as you can see market clustering is now inside the text box. Also if I want to remove it, I can do that as well by clicking on this cross icon. Now talking about the next feature that is Google map variations, open its drop down menu and here you will find four different options. Roadmap is the one we are currently seeing. If I just come here and select hybrid, so I will get to see this type of styling. Now clicking on satellite, you can see how the designs are changing on the map as per the different options. And at last we have terrain view as well, so click on it. So that's how you can play around with different Google map variations. Now let's see what custom style maps has to offer. Inside you will get creative map styles. Open its drop down menu and here you will find a lot of styling options. Let me just click a random one, say style 4. So you can see how it looks. Also let's click on style 7. For now I'm just leaving all the other style options for you to experiment on your own and figure out what's best for you. Right now it's on style 1 and if I'll click here. I'll get to change the U color in the map. I will click and drag this button towards red. Now you can see how the colors inside the map is now changed. Also if you want from here you can control the color saturation and lightness. Now let's just close all these custom style maps sub option and get back to our main style. Next we will talk about this option called map overlay. Opening it we'll find an option called content over the map. Now what it does, let's understand by clicking on this toggle button. And right now you will notice nothing new in the design, but here at the bottom you will get to see a toggle button. 
Clicking on it, you will get a light dark background with some text written over it. The text consists of title and description. Same your user will also get to see this when he will click on this toggle button. You can customize the title from here. Let me just change the text to read me. And when I'll click on this button here, you can notice that the title is now changed. Along with that, you can also change the background type, play around with title typography, its color as well as description typography and description color. Now if you focus here at the little toggle button, you can change its color too. Let's change its active color to say for example, I'll do it blue. And when I'll click on it, you can see now the color of the button is changed on activation. And this is how you can customize different elements inside the Google map widget as per your liking. Now let's just close this option and let me give you a final look. Now once again reminding you that the widget we used for this tutorial is from the Plus Add-ons Pro. If you want to purchase it, simply head on to www.theplusaddons.com. Here you can check out all the 120 plus widgets and other resources. Once that's done, click on pricing and choose the plan that fits your needs. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to learn more, we have made a video on preloader animation. Don't forget to check it out. And also leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more such WordPress tutorials. Until then, see you in the next one.